What's going on you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another video and I'm excited about this unboxing because we finally have the Tiger version of Tiger Isaka that uh, they announced uh, a couple months after releasing the bunny version and uh, here we have finally the Tiger version uh, and I know a lot of people were kind of mad and sad that they had released another copy uh, with a different costume I guess so it's not really the same but uh, it kind of is in a way <laughs> Uh, but yeah, these figures are not uh, cheap at all by any means. I think some of them go for $200, $300. I know this one was around $200 something with shipping, plus shipping, I'm sorry. Uh, so definitely not cheap. So freeing, doing this kind of stuff, you know, it's kind of like a slap in the face to collectors. Uh, for me, myself, you know, I like the anime, I like the character. Uh, Taiga has been one of my favorite characters of all time, believe it or not. So uh, I just had to get another copy. So we finally have it here. We're going to be going over the differences and similarities of the bunny version and the tiger version. I want to see if it, uh, if he has the same base color, if he follows the same shade of the, of the hair color, if, if the face matches. Cause I believe he has a, a different face on the tiger version than on the bunny version, but I'm not sure on that. And, uh, yeah. Oh, by the way, right here on top, we have the decorative painting, uh, that I posted on my YouTube channel. It was a couple months back of uh, Lucina Kushinara, in short for Lucy, uh, the character from the anime uh, Cyberpunk Edge Runners. Which, by the way, uh, congratulations to the everyone who worked on the on the anime, because I believe on my newsfeed I saw that uh, the anime uh, Cyberpunk Edge Runners won the award for uh, best anime of the year, according to Crunchyroll. So, uh, congrats on that, everyone, everyone who worked on that. If you, watch, if you haven't watched the anime, I recommend you guys watch the anime. And uh, that's pretty much it. I don't think I have anything else to say. If you guys like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And uh, there's plenty more to come. I actually have two more boxes right here that you guys can't see. Uh, but I'm going to be making a video on that probably either right after this or, or tomorrow. I'm not too sure if I have any time after this because I'm going to be editing this video. Make it out. Uh, upload this video probably tonight or tomorrow morning either one of those I think I had mentioned that I have a Beto delivering probably yeah probably by the end of next week so uh, waiting on that and I have an Itachi statue coming in uh, I think they said about two three months so I'll probably wait for that too and uh, yeah make sure to like and subscribe you guys so let's get to unboxing Okay, you guys, so I thought that I would start off with uh, the decorative painting first and leave the bunny version at the end. Uh, I've been waiting for this one, this frame, this painting, whatever you want to call it, for, uh, for months now. There's a lot of tape going on, so please excuse all the noise. And I want to be really careful about opening this one because... Uh, as you guys could see the box was a little bit damaged uh, It looks like it was just thrown away just thrown by uh, By the carriers. Uh, I really hope nothing came broken. I did shake it a little bit to see if you know like there was any glass uh, Glass sound breaking or something like that uh, But it looks like oh, what the is this? Oh nice, so they include a uh, measuring tape some gloves a pencil something to measure so when you hang it to your wall uh, you make sure that everything is straight and you you handle it with care that's why the gloves are right there so uh, I'm already impressed and I believe I had this imported from uh, Germany I ordered it through favorite GK but I believe it was a uh, Germany imported if I'm not mistaken and hopefully nothing is broken nothing uh, Okay, so I see all the the bubble wrap. Uh, make sure there's nothing inside here. Throw that over there. And, uh, oof. Looks like we are good, guys. Excuse the tape. Just a lot of noise. And I think we're in the clear. Oh my god. Look at this. Tell me this isn't nice. Let me 
me see if I can zoom it out a little bit like this so you guys can get a good look. And I already know where I'm going to put this. It's going to go right next to my door, so that's the first thing I see. And nothing is broken. I think it has the white frame, the white metal frame. So let's get it out of the plastic real quick. You guys get a better look. I'm trying to handle this with care, really. Oh my god. This is so legit. Look at this. Tell me this isn't nice. In the back, there's nothing going on. Obviously, something so you guys can hang it. We have some slots right here. One right here and one right here. Left and right. We have some glass right here. A picture of Lucy, Kushinara, or just Lucy, Lucinara, whatever you guys want to call her. Uh, I believe it has a stamp. It has Starry Sky Studio. And I believe this is uh, the signature of Hiroyuki Ishinara or Hiro Hiroi. But uh, let me Google this real quick because I don't want to get the name wrong. Hiroyuki Imaishi. This is the guy. This is one of the co-founders of Studio Trigger, which uh, Studio Trigger was the one responsible for animating uh, uh, this anime, among the, uh, any others, obviously, like uh, Kill a Kill, which is one of my favorite animes. So maybe that's one of the reasons why I really like this anime. I like the animations and um, I like the story too, but damn, I don't know what it, what it was about this anime. Maybe because the main character was uh, Hispanic. What was his name? I forgot his name, but uh, he was definitely, no, it wasn't Miles, I think that was Spider-Man, uh, but definitely Hispanic, David, I think his name was David, I'm not sure, uh, but he had a, he was Hispanic, so I like the Hispanic representation there, I don't know if he follows the same in the game, uh, but I like that, um, yeah, tell me what you guys think about this painting, I think that uh, uh, this is totally legit, uh, it's, I'm gonna put it next to my door, and uh, I think the picture uh, speaks for itself. Uh, this is not an original. I know some of people are going to be saying, why'd you spend all that money if it's not an original? This is a print of the original. Obviously, if you're going to buy the original, then it's going to cost you more than, you know, $150 more than what I paid for. But um, I'm happy that I got a copy of the original. If you guys want to say it's fake, you guys can go ahead and say it's fake. Uh, I don't really mind. I know what I bought, I knew that this wasn't the original, um, but yeah, I just like, I like spending money on art, if you will, <laughs> as you guys could tell, um, but yeah, I think the reason why I bought this uh, frame, this painting, was because uh, I was looking for, uh, for statues and figures of uh, something that represents the cyberpunk edge runners a little bit more than just Lucy or uh, Rebecca, which by the way, Rebecca, in my opinion, was best girl. You guys can fight me on that, uh, but I thought, I don't know, she just had more of a of a character than uh, Lucy. Lucy, you know, by any means, pretty, everything, but I don't know. I think Rebecca just did it for me a little bit more. But yeah, I'm gonna be uh, hanging this one soon, probably right, at, right after this video. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this painting and uh, like always at the end I'm gonna give you guys a closer look of everything just so you guys can appreciate it a little bit more so yeah uh, now let's get to the to the main event the tiger figure if you guys will and here we have the bunny figure that we're gonna be unboxing right now I know some people got the figure already. Excuse the noise. Oof. That was one of the ugliest unboxings I've done for the box, for the main shipper box. But uh, as always, we get the Ami Ami card. Oof. There we go. Oh, this is a pretty nice one. Oh, no, it came with the tape. Okay, there we go. This is a pretty nice card. Like 
like always, thank you for shipping with us. We hope your order arrived today. Blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna put it right here so I could keep on collecting all the paper protection. Throw it out the way. And here we finally have it. Uh, I think this is the first time they wrapped the actual box the figure comes in. This is the first time I've seen it. Unless I'm blanking out and forgetting everything at this point. Um, okay, so first things first. Uh, I believe the box is almost identical, if not identical. Uh, mine is obviously the figure itself. And I was right, there was some uh, facial expressions differences. Obviously, she's uh, she has her mouth open, she's yelling, whatever you guys want to call it. Uh, like I said, I think in the previous video when I unboxed the, the bunny version, uh, box is legit. I like the box, I like the colors, I like everything that they did with it. This is the back of the box. Side, front, and side, and the top. Just get rid of the tape right here. And uh, I'm obviously gonna put this Tyga with the other Tyga next to each other, just so they can complement each other. Here we have the buddy version. Put the box right here. Cool box. Get rid of the tape. I believe there's some tape going on here. There's one. There's two. There's three. And there's four. Oof. Use all the noise okay one of the differences right off the bat base is black and you got to be careful with these bases because any little scratch anything any little touch that you do it always leaves a mark so uh, it's not that obvious unless you really pay attention so I can already see two marks right here I barely touched it I don't think it was even me uh, there's already two marks right here I'll probably show you guys when I zoom in on the whole figure. Uh, but yeah, there's already two marks there. Not a big deal. I'm not that uh, that picky with these figures. And uh, okay, so in the box, I can already see there's an open slot where um, I would assume the ears were supposed to go. But, Um, my assumption is that if there's an open spot there, um, why does it have it on the on the figure already? I don't know. That that seems kind of weird. Like, can you take them off? I don't think you can take the the ears off, the tiger ears off. And uh, this is already a a cute figure. I like the face expression, all the protection around the arms, the hair, okay, okay. Huh, so same pose, different color of the suit, obviously, fishnets are black, those are black. Um, but wait a minute, just a second. Is it me or do these fishnets not seem a little bit more darker than usual? I believe so because these look the same as all the other ones from all the other bunnies, but in the box, and I believe in the pictures that they released for the pre-ordering, uh, these are darker. 
I don't know if a lot of people were, you know, expecting for it to be darker or if this was a mistake or what's going on. But these are definitely in the box. They're, those are darker than, than what I have physically here. Um, I don't know how I feel about that because I kind of wanted it to match the gloves. The gloves are dark. I don't know if you guys could see it. But the gloves are really dark and it would have been cool if it would have matched the fishnets. Fishnets would have been darker. Cat ears look good. Hair looks good. As far as the painting goes, this looks a little bit darker than the bunny one. Uh, but I'm gonna put them side to side just to, to really get a, a good look at the hair, hair color. As far as the texture and like everything about the hair, everything looks good. Uh, there's no scuffs, nothing. I don't see anything on the tiger suit I can't even say bunny suit but tiger suit um, yeah those are my first impressions about the figure honestly uh, the tiger tail I don't know how I feel about it sometimes I wish freeing would uh, make some of these things like I don't know it would have been sick if they would just think outside the box and made either the the since this is a, a different kind of figure it doesn't follow the whole bunny suit if you will um, it would have been sick if they would have made the tail or the ears or probably both kind of like a fuzzy texture kind of soft maybe since it doesn't really follow the whole uh, bunny uh, outfit because you know how the bunny usually the bunnies the tails they're not furry they're not fuzzy uh, if they would have done this fuzzy or the ears it would have been sick Let me put this down gently Now let me get the bunny, Tiger, the bunny version, so we can compare them side to side right now. <sighs> okay guys, so here are the two figures right next to each other. And uh, obviously this one has the white suit, this one has the yellow, this one represents the bunny, this one represents the tiger. Uh, black gloves, white gloves, tiger ears, bunny ears, uh, orange, yellow base, black base. Um, this one has a tail uh, thankfully no, there was no paint chippings on the on the tail uh, it's actually well painted in my opinion nothing crazy going on uh, like I said before I do wish the ears or the tail would have been a little bit on the fuzzy texture that's just my preference because um, as I stated before if they're gonna be uh, if freeing is gonna be doing all this extra stuff if they're gonna be doing like you know thinking outside the box of like instead of doing a bun figure of a, of a character that they've already done you might as well make it a little bit more special uh, that's just my opinion it would have it would have been a little bit more I don't know I would remember this figure a little bit more because it was kind of once in a lifetime that they're gonna be making this kind of figures but yeah it also reminds me of I think they did Ryoku, Ryoku from Kill a Kill the bunny version they, they released the second one which was the one with the red version but for that one you see they didn't really do anything special outside of just changing the color of the suit for this one they changed the whole theme uh, this one it was pretty much the whole tigers they gave her the the tiger ears and the tiger tail um, which kind of reminds me uh, I think I pre-ordered Toru from uh, uh, the Dragon's Maid anime I forgot the whole name of it uh, Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid and I don't think they gave her a tail which was the dragon tail which kind of question makes me question like if you guys are gonna give Albedo like wings you might as well give Toru the whole tail but uh, I don't I mean they haven't released it yet I don't think it's the final product hopefully by then uh, when they released it they give her the tail uh, but that's just one of my little rants on the side getting back on track with these figures I don't see any major difference on the hairs maybe I would say yeah this one is a little bit darker the tiger version uh, it's a little darker, a little bit more contrast on it, uh, but the shading, the the waves, everything follows the the same as the bunny version, as the original one, if you guys want to call it. Uh, skin tone, yeah, this one is a little bit uh, lighter. Her skin tone is a little bit 
more more lighter for sure. Um, this one has less um, less shading on the skin as opposed to this one. This one you can still tell the bunny version that she's blushing, but for this one you can definitely tell she's blushing on her cheeks. This one you can kind of barely tell. So they definitely gave her gave the tiger version a little bit more blush. Um, that's just what I see, and yeah, th definitely the, the bunny version is a little bit more more lighter. If you if you guys are trying to decide if uh, if there's a chance that you guys can get either one of these, uh, it's up to you guys. I would say go with the bunny version if you want to follow the whole. If you're collecting bunnies and you want to follow the whole bunny trend, uh, definitely go with the bunny version. Uh, if you're a hardcore fan like me, you should probably get both of them because they both have their own thing going on. Um, but yeah, different face expression for this one. She's uh, she's kind of like roaring, like yelling. And uh, for this one, obviously, she seems a little bit more uh, awkward <laughs> with her face expression as she's just kind of like pouting, like someone made her do that pose, get in the outfit and pose like that. As opposed to this one, this one seems a little bit more commanding. She's uh, she knows she got in the suit, uh, and she has to like she's just roaring or whatever. <laughs> um, but yeah, this one has the ye the yellowish yellow mustard bow tie. This one has the white, or actually the same color. But this one, okay, I see the difference. So for the bow ties, these are different actually. Same color, but this one has a different finish to it. This one has uh, the glossy finish, which, which kind of matches the, the whole suit. This one has a little bit more of a, how would you even say this? It's, it like sparkles, but it's not a glossy finish. It's like a, like a matte, matte, matte finish. So there's that. So yeah, there's, there's definitely some differences in these figures, but uh, looking at them, uh, standing next to each other, give me a second. Yeah, the base is about the same height. Uh, no other really major differences aside of skin tone and the tiger ears and tiger tail. Like I said, hair, kind of the same. Most, most like I would say 95% the same. Just this one's a little bit darker, for sure. I don't know if you guys can tell, I'll just put them like this. But nonetheless, these are both beautiful figures. If you guys have the money, I'm not saying you guys should, but if you guys have the money, uh, go for both of them. If you're a big fan of Toradora, definitely get both of them. Uh, I think that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, there's not much else I could say aside from the, ooh, I just noticed a little bit of a scuff on the hair of the tiger version it's uh, very minute you can barely tell oh on this side too I really don't want to scratch that much um, you could tell if you're like from this from this distance there was nothing on this one but unfortunately for this one there's a little bit of a of scratching going on with the hair um, but as I always pose my, my bunny figures, I always pose them facing that way. So you're not even going to be able to tell. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Unfortunately, I just saw that right now. Uh, but aside from that, I don't see anything on the tail. I don't see anything on the base, on the shoes. I mean, heel, sorry. Fishnets. Um, I will say, if you're gonna be posting something on the internet, uh, make sure it sticks to that because when people pre-order and they buy these figures and uh, you open it, you have the expectations of what you're gonna get, but in reality it's not. Uh, it's kind of disappointing in a way, not a deal breaker for me. It might be a deal breaker for you or for someone else that's ordering these figures or plans to order uh, these figures, so uh, just watch out for that. Uh, let me give you guys a close-up. And yeah, make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, more figures, more unboxings on the way. Uh, like I said, uh, hopefully, uh, definitely gonna have this video edited by the end of the day or tomorrow morning. And uh, hopefully get on that other uh, video right after. 
So uh, see you guys in the next one. Make sure to like and subscribe. Take care, guys.